No. Girl, stop it. What? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rainbow Reviews with Palace. I'm Matt. We are reacting to episode 3 of Fellow Travelers. On the last episode, a lot actually happened. Yes. I think one of the nicest moments was when Tim was invited to Mary's party, right? Where yes. he met her friends. And uh, we found out that Mary was living with Caroline. But then all of it took a negative, nasty turn. And Mary actually threw Caroline under the bus yes, to save herself. And we saw what those investigations can do, right? Um, and even to the point where Hawkins was quite annoyed with Tim. And, you know, they wrote the letter and everything. And it was... Which also then led Tim to... It almost pushed him away, you know? And then at from the end, Hawk, he, yes. from Hawkins. And then at the end, he was also confessing. Um, so, yeah, this is episode three. We can't wait to dive in. It's been a minute. So, let's, let's go. go. Oh. So they're on good terms. Maybe this was before. Before he confessed and said mm. he didn't take that. Yeah, I remember. Mm. Oh, I see. We need to change that bandage. Yeah, I'll do it now for my shower. Your shirt. I'll be fine. Thank you for dinner. She still, she still doesn't like you. We're moving to Milan. Finally got that European posting. <laughs> After 30 years. That must be hurting. <clears throat> but also Tim is so forgiving. I'd be like, babe, it's time for you to leave. Weird energy. It's Kaposi sarcoma. Some weird cancer. Have you had uh, PCP? Yes. Wow. Is he gonna throw up? I was wondering. There you are. He's all mine tonight. I'm dragging him to the symphony. It's Ravel tonight, and we don't want to miss the first movement. God forbid. <laughs> God forbid. Go, go, go. That's us when we go and watch Britney Spears. <laughs> Which we never do, by the way. Maybe Beyonce. Christina Aguilera. Your tip checks out. A couple years ago, an army corporal sent a letter to Senator Benton. Where's this corporal now? Selling himself in Rehoboth Beach. Ooh, last place to spend a weekend. And not that you care, but you missed his birthday. He noticed. No. But we didn't even know when his birthday is, you know? When is his birthday? He should know. Exactly. I sign them, but I work in a warehouse. I load supplies from trucks. Mr. Laughlin. I need to speak with this young man on a very urgent matter of national security. Would you mind? <laughs> the national security matter involves a mob. I've decided to forgive you. Forgive me. You haven't forgive called him? in three weeks. Four. I will. If you join me. The level of gaslighting now. Meet me on the southwest corner of Independence and Third in 15 minutes. 15? Green Ford. Oh, it's a bit quick. I mean, and happy birthday. He's got too much power over him. He's just like me, me in fifteen minutes, and he's listen. he's gonna do it. Like, listen, it's it's it. We're in the future, and he's in his living room, and and Timmy is behaving like you know. I don't feel well. I should go home. That leaves me in a bit of a pickle. We have a. I'll big come in day. early Monday and catch up. Sorry. I mean, the things he does for how I was like, he can't wait to suck that Yes. <laughs> to go on this trip with him. Look at him smiling. Mother, may I sleep with danger? This is nice. I agree. Oh. Mm. 
come to our show tonight. That's a white club, and I don't think it's queer. Well, for one, I'm not exactly like the studs you used to leave the bar with. I'm a man who likes to fuck men. And I don't apologize for it. The question is, can you handle me? Mm, he likes that. Is this my birthday present? It's more like an education. Educate me. My god. He confessed a minute ago. It's all forgotten. What about the rough trade? I'll offer to blow you for five bucks. <laughs> but 50 50, they'll just beat you up and take your wallet. <laughs> it's the risk that makes it exciting, Skippy. Do you find it exciting? Cheers. He answered that. Hey, let me take a little stroll out back. All right, all right. just uh, hang tight for me, okay? No. Girl, stop it. What? What is he doing? Not us jumping to conclusions. Daniel! Mm. I put some salt in warm water. We need to coax the pills out of him. He knew he was caught, fellas. And his tears were clearly in a... These guys are just fabricating guilt. something, no? Like, yeah. they're just like, oh, let's just make up a story. Like, he was crying, and that means he's guilty. Oh, it's wild. Looking lively there, Johnny. Oh, Johnny liked that. I think he's also a little bit... Uh, I think Johnny liked that. But like, I mean him. McCarthy. Mm -hmm. No one was passed. So tell. Well, has it occurred to you that the three men leading the Christian crusade against communism, you, Roy and David, are all bachelors? <sighs> you won't have to worry about David much longer. General... I'm a man of power and influence. If Mr. Shine is drafted, which I expect he will be, he'll be inducted and treated as any other soldier. Keep on shining, Mr. Shine. You have shown, has shown. No more shining. He is stressed. Ooh. What is going on? Hmm. An influence, and I always get what I want. Don't you dare knock me! You can't help a friend when he needs you the most. Look at them each other. They're eating each other. I have a date. And Roy, she will do anything for me. I think Roy would like to be that girl. Yeah. Crazy to think that oh, these men in power, they're actually all... Closeted gays. Closeted gays, yeah. you know? I have to hide. Oh, not him playing with fire as well. He's actually going over? <clears throat> oh. I was going to the restroom. Uh-oh. <laughs> no. Stop it. Tim, what are you doing? I shouldn't have done that. Anyone that leave you behind doesn't deserve to keep you. Mm. That was very powerful. Yep, he's not wrong about that. Mm -hmm. Also, no. He said no. Also, I mean, they're not really together. Like, no, but Timmy said no. So this guy should really back off. This evidence. Do you have any idea where he might hide it? No, but it's got to be in here somewhere. Is it me or is this episode moving incredibly fast? Fast? I, I don't know. I'm just trying to keep up. Hawk? some business i didn't think it would take long and then you and me could we could we could what fuck like rabbits comes to mind no 
No, I want to be with you. Sleep in the same bed with you. Oh, he wants to be with him, not be with him. He wants to be with him. We have never eaten in a restaurant. Men do eat in restaurants. <laughs> I could be your cousin. Take him on a date. Good afternoon. Checking in. Hello. Uh, reservation and reserve. It's like, this is the number. See you in 15. What happened to having a dinner together? <laughs> they skipped dinner. I think this, having, is the dinner. this is the dinner. They're going to eat each other. Did they lock the door? You okay? Oh, what happened? No, he fell. Oh, he's changing the bandages now. Do not come in! Get out! Oh, what happened? Come on! Oh, I got the oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Ooh. Oh, it's fine. Ah, what happened? Ooh, look at his back. My legs buckled. In the shower. Ah, oh, bless him. Break my elbow in a damn thing. The sister even said you can't do it alone, you know. Do you think you get infected by the end of this? See, with the blood and stuff. Yeah, just watch it. Hmm. You need an AIDS test. I'm not talking about my blood. I'm talking about your life. Hmm? Yeah, like, who knows what he's been doing over the last 30 years, True. you know, like... Let me see if I can find something for you. Just one moment, please. <sighs> Not nice. Congratulations on your birthday, sir. Thank you. My uncle is treating me to dinner. <laughs> How did you end up at the State Department? Complete personal freedom. Interesting. How does Lucy Smith see it? Oh. I'm cutting you off. Way to steer the pot. Always. I'm just to ruin the movie. I was like, like, they can't even have a nice moment. Tim, please. He's like, what is this idiot doing? I ask you over again. Too much wine. But I also have to say the the acting and the I mean the cast, the chemistry is amazing. Wow. He loves playing with fire. No, he wants that as well now. Oh no. He's realizing we can't hear that he will never have oh. that with him. Yes. <sighs> Way to make it obvious. This is a scene. This is a scene. even if they were really in a committed relationship, they still couldn't be like open, open, right? In public. Tim doesn't like understand this. that, I think. May I ask for just a hold up? I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, uh, we confirmed that you had been placed on the list. Really? But unfortunately, there's been an overbooking of reservations. Overbooking reservations? I think you should leave. You mean I think you should leave, nigger? They won't let you in? It's fine, just go back to It's see. not fine. Oh no, they're gonna make a scene. Who do you think all of these people came to see? Egos, or you both go. Buy with me, we're overrun with bags tonight. Boyfriend, piece of shit! Huh? That's not my fucking wife! Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here! Go! Oh. Yeah, let's just leave. Let's just leave. But funny, that in a club like this, they have him, right, performing. I am surprised as well. But you had to come out and make it worse. Marcus. He did it for you. Up for you. Yeah. 
Oh, you're upset because he called us fags in front of all those good paying white They folks. called you one! <sighs> no. Walk me back to the club. Hmm. <laughs> that is. This is great. Is he gonna do this? I don't know. I don't think he is. <sighs> this is turning into a telenovela. You can't hold your liquor. Tim is like pushing every button possible. You'd rather be with one of the guys from the Nomad. One of the rough trade you find so exciting. What's he talking about? At the bar, I kissed a man. It's just crazy to me. The games they're playing now. You want me to be rough trained? Hit me. <clears throat> what? Wow, he did not hesitate no. at all. No, no, no. He really wanted it. Not in a sexual way. He just wanted to hit him. Again. What? <clears throat> Fair enough. Take your pants off. Oh. Keep looking at me. Okay. Tim seems to like that. Mm -mm. Who do you belong to? You. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I belong to Hawkins. Oh. Right, we're not going to show this. <laughs> What is going through his head? What do you think? Well, I mean, I guess he's sick of being discriminated against. Mm. Would you read this? I need your opinion. To publish or not to publish? Mm. That is the question. I guess he wants to publish it, mm. but if it's the right words, I guess. I don't mean to sound like a prima donna, but where am I? Mm. Oh, okay. Hmm. You know what? These moments, for them to turn to sex, it takes me out of the fantasy. Especially if he let you go back to the club alone, and but now he's telling you I'm looking at you, mm. babe. I'm not buying it, and now you want to f get the f out of here. No, it's a bit too quick. Yeah. yeah. Unable to identify subversives working under their own goddamn noses, or they're corrupt. Damn. They won't dare to touch you. Oh, what he do, what he's doing for him? You it's know? crazy. Come, this come just coming up with whatever. But he's like, so you want me to stay here and not go to New York then? Obviously. Wow. It's almost like he's sucking on something else right now. <laughs> the symbolism. I ended up getting a room in the Motor Hotel. Kept on drinking. That's all. Mm -mm. Senator performed sodomy on me. <laughs> Next thing I know, the FBI is breaking down my door saying I'm going to prison for making threats. They said they were going to tell my mother what I was. I begged them not to. She was sick. Disgusting. I told her anyway. Disgusting. How easy they destroy people's lives, no? It's crazy. It's wild, actually. And just to to protect themselves as well, you know. He said you have money. He's gonna take care of him. Hawkins. Show us the evidence. <sighs> Show us the evidence. He's not even looking at no. it. No. I mean He should check it, huh? Back to leaving in the middle of the night. <laughs> 
eventually it doesn't hurt as much. Because you have no choice. Survival, right? It's part of survival at this point for these guys. I think Tim hasn't fully grasped, understood that. Yeah. Right? It's survival. Not who we sleep with. What? Who it's not we love. Who we sleep with. It's who we love. So, is he gonna do a test now? I'm assuming. It's not a good idea. How long? For a week? I can do that. I don't think Lucy would be okay with that. You sure? No. I'm not sure if anything anymore. We will do what it takes to protect the security of every American citizen. Soon, you will be addressing Miss Kerr as Mrs. McCarthy as we are engaged to be married. Stop it! Oh. No. So, this is not really gonna do anything, I guess. In the past six months, have you had sex with him as a man? Hmm. Yes. With the same partner? Not if I can help it. Okay, you can roll up your sleeve now. Not if I can help it. Roll up that sleeve, sir. Yeah, what about oh. the last six months? But what about the last 30 years? Exactly. <sighs> so, before we start, the comments obviously said and prepared us. Oh, be ready. Prepare yourselves. It's starting to get explosive. It's mm -hmm. going to be explosive. And I can feel it. I can feel it. There were a couple of moments where I was just like... <gasps> yeah, it feels like there's a lot happening. Quickly. Quickly. And... Politically, right? As well. As well. But there's also a lot of shit steering. And pots, like, pot, a lot of pots are being steered simultaneously. It's yeah. like... Oh, uh, yeah. It's just, yeah, there's a lot happening. A lot of intrigue. Suddenly everybody's gay. Suddenly yeah. we're seeing it. And it's like, but I'm oh. wondering if that's actually historically accurate. I wouldn't or be surprised. they just doing it for the show? No, I think I, 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 I could see this actually being the case because a lot of homophobes, in fact, are, are gay. You know, and, and specifically through that, in that time, I would, like so many men that were actually gay just put up an act, you know, and got married, got kids. Yeah. Oh, or even bisexual, you know. Yeah. This but is then like they're hiding um, one side of, of themselves. So Exactly. This is like uh, drag queens. It's like drag race. Queens versus queens. <laughs> but then we have this who is it? Now Diane McCarthy. Yes. Right. With the, with the who seems engagement. to have had an affair with this soldier. Mm. Right? But now to like cover his but but he's like let me marry my secretary my and assistant. she and she was the one who was like you, you know to. you're a bachelor and the other two guys are also bachelors you need to see how it looks you know they also like they're in a certain age exactly so it's it's a bit suspicious it you know suspicious and especially because these guys are the ones coming after the gays you know yeah, and then we did, we saw the other two, the other two as well, Cohen yes. and David. David Shine. Crazy. Very weird energy. Energy they have. Weird relationship. Yes. It seems like Cohen is more interested in Sh in David than the other way around. But I, David isn't interested at all. He's just yeah. But it's almost like it, it's this game they're playing there is some right? yeah, yeah there is and something. he keeps doing stuff for him because he likes him and he's taking advantage of it yeah and in all of that drama you have tim constantly spiraling i would like to jump into the screen and slap him yeah because i adore him i see myself in him when i was younger i do 
but it's also this naive boy that really just needs to wake up. And I think we all were at that yeah, point. Naive. And I don't want to be too, too harsh and too hard. And please don't tell me off, but I think we've all been there. And he needs to be that boy for a minute, but he also just needs to snap out of it and realize this is about survival. Because a minute ago, look what literally just happened to Caroline. Yeah. In, in front of your eyes, look, look what just happened to Caroline, you know? And trust and believe Hawkins loves you, but he will do the same thing that Mary did to her. If he has to, Hawkins will drop him. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and that's what he just needs to understand. Yeah. As you said, like, he's naive, but like, he, he just wants to be loved and he wants to be in a relationship. Yes. But not just, he also just wants to go for dinners and dates. Yeah, but like, that's the thing, what I said before, like, he doesn't realize. You can't have that. Even if they were in a committed relationship. Yes. Like, they wouldn't be able to, like, just no. be open, right? No, And, like, kiss in public or, like, hold hands or whatever. Like, yeah, that scene where they were at dinner and you saw this other couple when he was singing. You saw the other couple then eventually kissing. Yeah. And you could see it in his eyes. He was longing for it. Exactly. And then he turns over to Hawkins and Hawkins was looking at it was like, no, we're not kissing. <laughs> and then he storms off and it's like, babe, keep it together. Yeah. But also, I have to say... As sexy as Matt Damon is, and he does an incredible job, and Hawkins in itself, you know. Matt Damon? Matt Damon? He said Matt Matt Bomer. (laughs) Matt Bomer. Apologies. As sexy as it is, the fact that he's this gaslighting, arrogant asshole just also takes me out of it. I'm like, dude. It's like Marcus from Thinging. Marcus from Young Royals. Young Royals. As, As sexy as he was... The minute he started gaslight, gaslighting Simon, I was like, oh my God. Yeah. Someone slap him. Someone punch him. You know what was like really sad? That scene where um, they were at this motel, right? And Tim, and he was telling, he was telling um, Hawk that this other guy approached him. Kissed him. And they were kissing. And he's like, yeah, I could have gone with him. Mm. You know, and then they start making out. And it's this very, like, master behavior. Yeah, submissive. Submissive. Yes. And he's like, yeah, I belong, I, I belong to you, right? I'm your property. Mm. But it's almost like that's how it actually is, mm-hmm. right? He sees Tim as his property mm-hmm. almost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, deep down, like, Tim is not like that. No. Like, he was saying it in the moment, yeah. and, like, they were both horny he and wants whatever. More. But deep down, like, that's not him. Well, he wants love. He doesn't want to be uh, dominated, you know? Well, I, you know, the, I mean, there is multiple parts to it, you know? Like, the, like, there's the love that he wants, but then when it comes to sex, he does like to be dominated, right? He yeah. has the submissive side. And it, both are not exclusive, right? You can do both. But ultimately, they always have this forceful sexual relationship. Hawkins is enjoying it because we saw him right from the get-go. He was having intercourse with that other um, man who ended up working in the same building. Mm-hmm. And obviously, they used him. Um, but, but Tim needs to understand Hawk, the f- to- Tim, Tom. Tim doesn't know that Hawkins... I, I, Tim doesn't know that Hawkins actually doesn't sleep with the same guy twice, right? Yeah. Hawkins usually picks up a guy and then, you know, has sex and then that's it. But here he is seeing Tim for, I don't know how long now this is going on. And just the fact that this is happening, Tim needs to realize how important Tim is to Hawkins. But he doesn't do that, right? He wants more. He wants this relationship, which Hawkins will never be able to give him. Yeah, And that's what I find crazy. But again, going back to what we said earlier, like Tim is just super naive and he wants it all. He wants that love. He wants to be loved. He wants exactly. to be loved in public, you know. But that's what I don't it's... like about Hawkins because it's almost like he, that's why he's taking advantage yes. of Tim, right? And he treats him that way, right? He, he yeah. it almost like he really thinks like Tim is his property. property. He can do whatever he wants with yeah. him. And especially like, Tim's, because Tim always comes back. 
before they went on this trip, right? Tim was like super upset with him. But then he was like, oh, I forgive you. Mm. Like the audacity. Yes. Right? But I know. five minutes later, Tim was like, okay, okay, let's go on this trip. Puppy eyes. Exactly. Tell her you're sick. You have 15 he put, minutes. He put, he, like he's put a, a spell on him. Yes. It's like a spell. That moment when he was like, oh, just tell her you're, you're sick. Leave in 15 minutes. And he was like, ah, I can't do that. And then initially, five minutes later, he's lying to, to what's her name? Miss Kerr. Yeah. But then even now, 30 years later, you can feel like, obviously, a lot has happened between them. But that them. spell is still... And there's like some kind of hate, maybe, but he still has him under the spell, you know? He's like, oh, maybe I can look after you for a week. Lucy's gonna lose it. And then he's like, he, he says yes to it. It's crazy to me. Not directly, but he did say yes to it. Let's talk about Marcus and uh, Frankie. Yeah, that was also just as explosive. Right? Yeah. It seems they're getting closer, right? Slowly. But Marcus is literally behaving like Hawkins. Yeah. But Maybe not it, as it, harsh. Not as harsh. I mean, it, in a different way because. I think Marcus is more in sync with his actual, like, actually being gay. Mm -hmm. It's more about, he, I think he wants to seem, like, masculine, right? He doesn't want to be called a, a faggot. faggot. Yeah. Um, and then to be seen or to be with someone who is very feminine, right? Or, or who is a drag queen. Mm. I think that's what he struggles with. That's... Yeah, and then on top of, on top of that, he obviously has to do with with uh, discrimination. Yeah. He has to deal with it, and we saw it very much in this episode where, you know, they didn't let him in, although he was on the damn list. Yeah, and then Frankie actually stood up for him, you know, but then for him not to go back with Frankie, that annoyed me. I was like, dude, Frankie didn't just stand up for you there. He also lost this gig tonight. Mm -hmm. He probably won't get paid for it. So it's crazy. That that I felt crazy. And then for Frankie, and then he goes to his office and then he writes, you know, puts down his thoughts. And then he goes to Frankie and Frankie reads it and says, oh, this is good. But then they start making out again. And that's when I said to you, oh, my God, this is taking me out of the fantasy because Frankie's literally just forgiving him. And, oh, let's just have sex together. And it's like, dude, he didn't go back to, to this club for, with you, but you stood up for him. Yeah. What are you doing here? And and this is where I see also the parallels between them and Tim and Hawkins, because they're doing exactly the same thing. You know, whatever Hawkins does, Tim goes back to him. And obviously we haven't seen Frankie and Marcus a lot. This is obviously really the first time we're seeing them, yeah. you know, being together in this episode. But it's almost like... uh. It's literally the same thing. Frankie is going back to the person that just literally abandoned him. Yeah. That I found crazy. Yeah. It was a bit of a disconnect because he was like, as you said, like he was reading the script and he's like, but where am I? Where am I? Right? You don't, you don't mention you me. You don't see me. But I was part of that moment. Yeah. And then two minutes later, Marcus is like, oh, I see you. I see you for who you are. <laughs> Let's go to the bed. I was like, do you though? Like, yeah, do you though? Because yesterday night you didn't. And then they start making out. I'm like, mm. yeah, that was a bit. Wow. And then we have this McCarthy thing where obviously we, we you know, he obviously has, um, there is evidence against him. So I'm excited to see how this will play out. I hope uh, Hawkins will get him. Hmm. What do you think? Probably not. Like, I could see... Because he's obviously working for this senator. McCarthy is a senator. Right? Yeah, but like, Hawkins is working for... Oh, Senator Smith. Yeah, yes, Senator yes, yes. Smith. So I could imagine, like, him bringing back all this, like, evidence, mm -hmm. right? But now that they're, like, starting this campaign, like, McCarthy, like, he's getting married. Yeah. And then um, Cohn... Oh is starting this investigation to the military and stuff yeah, like this. Yeah. That Smith is probably going to say like, oh, right now, it's not we, right we can't we can't use this evidence. We can't go against them, you know? Let's see, because Hawkins can be very persuasive, no? 
Let's see how this plays out. I hope so. I I I I hope they go after him, because uh, all of them, all three, David Cohn and uh, McCarthy. Um, right. This was episode three. I can feel it. It's getting more and more explosive. Um, thanks so much for being here. Thank you also for the lovely comments. Um, it's great to have you guys with us. If you have not subscribed, please please do so, and we will see you back for episode four. four.